Hi, I am Dr. Chandrasekhar P, Senior Consultant, Director and Head of Orthopedics, Sakara World Hospital, Bangalore, India. I have been practicing knee replacement surgeries for last 15 years. I do computer assisted replacement, robotic knee replacement and in some cases traditional replacement or conventional replacement. I do arthroscopy and sports medicine surgeries of knee which includes ligament surgeries, which are keyhole surgeries of the meniscus, meniscal repair surgeries, meniscal transplant surgeries and cartilage surgeries of the knee. Knee replacements have been performed very commonly for the patients with knee osteoarthritis. Knee osteoarthritis is the second most commonest disease in the world after diabetes mellitus. Patients who undergo knee replacements have three options. One is traditional, that is conventional knee replacement, computer navigated surgeries and next is robotic knee replacement. Robotic knee replacement involves surgery being performed with the assistance of a robot which is the patient's knee is connected to the robotic software or the robotic camera through infrared rays. Surgery is performed through the robotic assistant as per the guidance of the surgeon. In the conventional surgeries, there are no infrared cameras or robots. It is performed with positioning the intramedullary rods inside the femur and taking the femoral and tibial cuts as per the jigs. In the robotic surgeries, there are no such jigs. The surgery is entirely performed as per the design of the surgeon who, base the, who uses the robotic software and plans the surgery and there are no jigs which are involved in the surgical technique. So as you know, robotic knee replacement have been performed in the last 20 years. In the last five to six years, it has gained high popularity. Robotic replacements or robots which are available for the robotic replacement surgeries are active, semi-active and passive robots. They are also classified into image and imageless robots. Image robots are robots which uses the CT scan of the patients. The advantages of image based robot in that again there is an active and semi-active robot. What I use is an active image based robot. The advantage of active and image based robots is CT scans are made before the surgery, these CT scans are applied on the robotic software. The patient knee is mapped before surgery and you know the size of the components, you know how much millimeters you are cutting, you know if you are in between sizes how you can upsize and downsize the components, you also know what is the rotation and the real time 3D uh, imaging of the knee. Virtually the surgery is performed before you go to the operation theater using the robotic software. Once you go to the operation theater, again the knee is mapped. And the, the, and the CT markings what you have done in the robotic software is compared with the what markings you do on the patient's native anatomy. By doing this, you are virtually rule out, ruling out the surgeon errors which can occur in the passive or the semi-active system. Once you do this mapping, the one you also do the real-time mapping of the patient's knee, then also robot helps in soft tissue balancing. It shows how your knee will perform before even making the virtual, before you are making the surgery or before you take the bony cuts or the bony milling, the robot is going to show prospectively how your knee will look if you use this millimeter of milling. In the active robot, the best part is I don't use the saw because we only use the bar which is 6 millimeter which is used to make the surface milling of the bone. There are no saws like semi-active or the uh, in robots or in the conventional surgery which the saw is used. The biggest advantage of active robot is apart from the CD, 3D mapping, apart from performing the surgery or knowing the components before you go to the operation theater and also cross confirmation with the surgeon's marking and comparing with the native CT where the surgical or the human errors or the surgeon errors are ruled out. The most important advantages of active robot is the submillimeter accuracy or the accuracy at which the robot performs the cutting as per the surgeon's desire. The robot is completely handled by the surgeon and the milling is performed as per the surgeon's desire. You don't need any tissue retractors. The surgery is performed by the surgeon and the robot. Most of the times we don't need assistance in the surgical procedure at all. The only time you need assistance is when you are placing the implants. Rest, the surgeon and the robot is handling the knee and the assistance are not required. The biggest advantage is the soft tissue stretching and it is highly minimally invasive. There is no soft tissue stretching and the biggest advantage is lesser blood loss, less post-operative time, faster recovery and fast range of motion or recovery in the post-operative period.